Hello, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? And welcome back to the podcast. My name is Sam Weiss, your co host, and today we'll be doing episode 33. And you have not seen us on this couch in a while, I think, but I'm back on this couch and we're doing it online. No guests, sadly, but I'm here. So if you go to enjoy the episode, make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. Uh, I'm just going to add Jackson to the meeting. All right, I'm back. Cool. Okay, I'm going to add you to the meeting now. Nice. All right, I just sent the invite. Cool. I should be getting it just about now. Okay. Yep. All right. See ya. See ya. Jackson, what's up? Hello. Welcome, everyone, to a brand new episode of our podcast. Oh, where's this charger? Here it is. Oh, my God. I am on the OG couch from episode one and from some other episodes. Um, I wonder when we did our last episode on this couch. I don't know. Probably too long. Hold on, I think my mic, maybe, uh, is your computer turned all the way up, or is that mine? Uh, let me double check. My microphone, I don't know, it's not. I have one now. Okay, I think that's better. Just now, okay? Yeah, it's better. Alright, cool. I didn't, I just realized that the mic jack was not turned up all the way, like, at all. Okay. Let's see, well, yeah, well, what was our last episode on this couch? It was definitely a while ago. Oh my god. The, the video quality today just decided to be garbage. I don't get it. We can do that. Yeah. Geez, I think it was episode 10. Remember when we did that like, transition that we thought was so cool? Uh, vaguely. Huh. You know, we're definitely going to again watch probably uh, over the couch. Alright, let me get on the couch. Anyway. Cool. I'm sure we thought that was such a cool transition. We did. Looking in hindsight, it wasn't as great as we thought, but it was fun. It was fun. Nope. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> welcome back to Couch Talk Podcast. I'm your co-host, and by this time, you know who the left is. Jackson Hartman. And we're doing episode 33, so if you go to enjoy, subscribe, like, and if you want to get updated when my new videos drop, make sure to turn on post notifications. Um... The basement's a bit of a wreck. We can talk about we can talk about that later. But um, yeah, episode thirty three of the podcast. We are definitely closing in and closing in pretty fast on three quarter of a year. Mm-hmm. When's our half year or er, full year? March. Uh oh, pardon. Uh yeah, it should be in uh, late February, early to mid March. Yeah, something like that. Um. So yeah, I mean, shoot. We are, uh, we'll get there. Uh, half a year seems like a while away, even though it wasn't, which is pretty crazy to think about. You're right, it was. But. Wait, when was it? It was like 20, 21, 21. 26. You've done like, you've done like, it's been like 10 weeks since then. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. It's been nine. Are yeah, we in the 30s while. now? Yeah, this is 33, and then half year was 26. How did I misspell title? So, it's pretty cool. Um, but, ladies and gentlemen, even though we don't have a guest, we do have a lot of cool information to talk about today. Uh, I have a lot to share. I think Jackson has a good amount to share. So, it'll be a fun episode. But, it won't be dragged out with a lot of dead air. Because I actually have to go in about 30, 40 minutes max. So it'll be a pretty compact, probably 40 minute, no more, probably 30 minute episode. Um, yeah. So, uh, do you want to start, Jackson? you want to tell us about your whole ordeal this weekend? 
I would love to. So I just got back. I don't know how long ago. I just got back from camping in Kankakee. It wasn't State Park. Uh, Davis Creek State Park. I don't know what it was. Something like that. Uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, Sam, you can you can tell about about the two in a second. It rained the first night. Well, it didn't really rain. By the time we got there, it was it stopped raining. And the next day, we did a 12-mile canoe trip down the Kankakee River. 12 pretty, miles. Jesus. Yeah, 12, 12 miles. It was pretty crazy. Um, I guess looking back, in the end, it was fun. But it was definitely probably one of the most difficult, physical-wise, things I've ever done camping. Or just anything of that matter. Like, running a 5K was really difficult. Yeah, I did a 5K. How long ago was that? I don't know. Sometime last year or earlier this year. If I ran 5K. That was probably one of the hardest things I've done. And so was this canoe trip, frankly. How long does it take? Is, like, is canoeing like like how fast you walk a mile? How fast you run a mile? How fast you bike a mile? What would you say is like a good comparison? Like How long would it take to do a mile in a canoe? Ooh, um... I'm trying to calculate how long it took us to go to just the 12 miles. So it was probably... Wait a minute, so... No, it was probably like 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. It's probably like a four hour. It was four hours. We were probably on the lake, Jeez. not on, like, on the river. Four to, yeah, probably four-ish, yeah. Uh, you guys have so, like food and water and stuff? What? You guys have, like, food and water? Oh, we all had water. We did bring some snacks. So by the time we got back to the campsite, we had lunch. Um, for one mile canoeing, depends on how fast you are at actually canoeing or how, like, strong your arms are or how, just frankly, good you are, how uh, fast the current's going. But I'd say on average a mile canoeing for us was probably hold on four was that a hundred and twenty? No. Oh no it's not right. Alright, four hours is two forty two hundred forty minutes. Two four two hundred forty divided it's by it's twenty. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. A mile. 20, 40, 60, hold on. 240 minutes divided by 12. Uh, yeah, it took about 20 minutes to yeah. do a mile. Okay, so it's, I guess a good average would be to canoe a mile is to walk a mile. Because that's how, that's, how, that's how long it usually takes to walk a mile. Cool. Well, that's fun. Um, what else do you do? you do anything else? See any wild tigers in the forest? Uh, not quite, but we did, pulling into the campsite, we did see two deer, so that that was pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know, one, I think it was a doe and an actual deer, so, yeah, with oh, antlers and all. Yeah. Very cool, actually. Is this in Illinois or like Michigan? Or this was in Illinois. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I think Kiki Key, I've seen that on the news. I, I thought it was like some either some foreign country you went to for two days or it was Illinois. So I guess I figured it should be Illinois. But, yeah, um, Kankakee, Kankakee River State Park, I think. Oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. That's, that's, um, what is it? No, actually, I don't know. It was it was along that river somewhere. Okay, it's fine. And what, what river do you say it was again that you canoed on, the, tw the 12 miles? Oh, uh, the Kankakee River. Oh, I just, yeah, I thought Kankakee was a place, but it's a river. Interesting. It's a river and, it, well, it's a city, basically. Okay, that's cool. Nice, sounds like you had a nice weekend, and it's only getting started because we have... Why is it today off? And we have all Monday off. Sunday. Today's Sunday, right? Yep, today's Sunday. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, you'll be happy to hear that I watched Carrie, the movie. Did you finish the, the book? Yeah, yeah, I, I finished the wow. Nice. I have not seen, I, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I want to. Uh, well, I guess I kind of said a little too much there. I didn't watch the movie, I tried to watch it, 
Um, so that will be what I'm, what I'm trying to say, but of course I'm going to have to evolve around that to give a, a little insight into what I mean. So yesterday me and Clayton had a sleepover up in the basement's a mess and I have my blanket just scratching away. It's called itch -o. There's like an itchy part. And uh, yeah, it's been through better times. But um, so yeah, it was, he, he actually went in. He got really tired. So then it was, I think he would, this was probably at about like, when, when was this? Like five? In the morning? Five. No, it was five. This is probably like five, five thirty in the morning. Maybe, yeah, close to that. Maybe a little later. And I, and I started Carrie because I was like, I don't really want to watch a show, but maybe I can start the movie. So I didn't get really far in. I probably got 10, maybe 20 minutes in. Uh, the shower scene is pretty short. It's not as graphic as I would think it would be. That's cool. Um, Honestly, I don't even remember very much from that from the book. Yeah, didn't you didn't you read it a while ago? It was a little while. It was before I started the stand, so yeah, it was. It's been a while. Yeah, well, uh, how long did the stand take you to read? Four to five months. Wow, uh, I, I'm progressing it, but slowly. I'm on. Uh, I did reach quadruple digits. That's cool. Nice. But, so less less than two hundred left. Yeah, less than two hundred left. I don't. I think I'm on like somewhere in the one thousand twenties. So I um, I'm working my way through. You're definitely so, getting there. I I think I think you could easily probably finish by the end of the year. Yeah, that's my goal. Um, shoot, maybe by Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving's a push. But um, yeah. So um, what did I do? Well, I didn't do anything Friday after school. Uh, I'm, did I? Oh, hold on. Sorry. Before you say anything, do you want to tell them about the, about what happened off after Friday after school? What, like when we got let out of school? Oh, oh yeah. Um, well, it started pouring rain. Like we were, um, we were at school and I actually made a, okay, uh, I'll, I'll say that later. It's really, really iffy. I'll have to decide what I'm gonna say. We was pouring in school at say 2:30. Then it was sunny out at 2:50, and then 15, 10 minutes later, it started pouring again as we were walking out. And I, 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 I didn't even. I, I was like, I'm not gonna like stand here and call my mom. I want to get home. So I just took all my crap and just sprinted home as fast as I could. All the way home. Ruined. All the way home. All the way home, yeah. Well, I guess, yeah. I guess whichever way you want to go home, some of it could be shady. Or not shady, but like protected by the trees. Yeah. Well, no. Well. Some of it. Well, I mean, Western doesn't really have any trees. Well, I was thinking about... In the alleys. If you turn down... So you know when you're walking past my house and you go through that, you're walking down, okay, so you're walking down that way, past my house, down Campbell, and you pass Bradley Place. You know that street right there? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I just thought you meant turn down that street, but I guess you do, you could walk down Western. No, and that would have been, that would have taken longer anyway. Um, sure. It would have been extra time. But yeah, I mean, I guess that would have been a smart move. I just, I didn't, what did you do? Well, how did you handle it? I mean, my dad luckily had an umbrella. My mom and dad were both smart to bring an umbrella. Oh, that's good. Um, so when we were all crowded inside the inside the small area in between outside and school, uh, I looked up the door and I saw my dad, and he's like, "Hi," and I'm like, and I just ran over. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think my mom and my mom and brother got home fine. Uh, it was still pouring rain. Ava, she was. I mean, in all fairness, she does live like literally not even a block away. But even by the time she was just crossing Waveland, uh, she, her hair was soaked. It was horrible. Same. My whole bag is soaked. I hope my papers aren't ruined. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah. So that's. 
Um, yeah, it was pouring rain. Now it's fine. I think it's going to rain later, so that's great. But um, as I was saying, nothing after school on Friday besides the pouring rain. Uh, then Saturday at about 2 p.m.-ish, um, I went to Clayton's house and we hung out. And we went to, we were going to go to Olive Garden, but well, we went to Meatheads, which ended up being better because, um, and you know, it, one thing, it's so weird. The kids meal for the chicken tenders is seven nineteen for two tenders. The not kids meal for four tenders is six ninety nine. A 20 cent price drop for double the chicken tenders. What the hell, Meatheads? What the hell? Okay. Uh, anyway, so we went to Meatheads. We actually ended up seeing Jane and Izzy there, so that was fun. Um, and then we thought, we, me and Clayton both thought it was weird. There were these Lane Tech and DePaul prep people in the school, right? Or in the uh, Meatheads. And they all went to the bathroom together. So, of course, I made some uh, kinky assumptions. Um, I knew that wasn't correct. And then there was a lady. And I must have missed a part, but she's, she was, like, walking out of the bathroom. And she's like, yeah, yeah, get out, get out before I call the police. Get out, go before I, call, before I call the police. And I was, you know, I didn't want them to be, like, getting mad. And I, like, pull off the Glock on her because we would be in there, you know. Luckily, luckily, they didn't. I actually asked her, which I probably shouldn't have, but when she came over, I was like, so what was that whole pesky situation about? Apparently they were smoking weed. I either thought it was weed or they were snorting cocaine. But it was weed, which makes more sense, I guess. And I think the smoke alarm went off, or she could smell it, whatever. They got kicked out and they've been and they she said that they've done it many times. So they got the they they got the um, number plate, the license plate, so now they're gonna you know. Now they're gonna get them next time. Um, nice. so yeah. Uh and then, you know, we came back here and we just, we watched uh, The Wolf of Wall Street for like the second time. It's so good. And that's where the basement's a ruin. But, um, and we, uh, we got rolled ice cream. I'm going to post my Instagram. We got rolled ice cream, which was really good. Um, did, did they shut that place down yet by Meatheads or no. is it still there? Not still there. They had a different one, but now it's called like 10 Cafe or something. But, um. Uh, you, oh. I think COVID just killed the restaurant. I also did bowling league on Saturday. And I did really, really good. I got 122 the first game, 116 the second game, and 138 the third game. I did the I placed first on my team, so that was really fun. And That's nice. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time. And then I got a haircut on Saturday. Uh, sorry. And, yeah, so... Now, I'm a double-decker Axe user. I use Axe Body Wash and Axe Body Spray. Um, but I will admit, I can't even smell it because it's body wash, but the Axe Body Wash is not bad. It's really good. Uh, That's good. I did, when Clayton was asleep, I made a video at like 2 a.m. I was a little edgy. I don't think my mom would let me post it. I pretty much took a bath on camera uh <laughs> oh my god i can't even you know i may have to edit some things out but it's it, i don't think it was that bad i'll i'll, I'll um apology hmm. wow in the flesh na 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 let's see okay i'm thinking about maybe carving some pumpkins on monday oh really uh we got them from, I don't know, it was uh, the John and Mike Orchard. That's what it was. Oh, cool. I still got to set up my Halloween decorations. Have you set up yours? Yes, we set them up last weekend. Oh, it's fun. Oh, wait. Wait, no way, no way. Bullcrap, 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 bullcrap. We actually reached 70 subscribers? Yeah. I think we did, jerky poo. 70 subscribers, yeah! Anyway, so as you can see on, on my channel, this is the thumbnail. Bath the time with Sam. Note, part three. So, 
so they already got a like and that's bath time with Sam so I'll show you it and you can tell me if you think it's uh that's if it's anything uh so where is it here it is are you is that a is that like a comedy skit I see there when the sub leaves a note oh yes it is do you want to see it sure hasn't even come out yet so you're the first oh it has never mind um I actually made two parts I guess I'll show you part two because it's funnier. Didn't you? Okay, never mind. expose you, but didn't you show me a video that looked very similar to that? Hey, let me get those, man. Me too. Yeah, that was the Kill a K video, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I took the beginning part where he says, come on in, Mike, but the other stuff is me. I can actually show you that. Yeah, you saw it. Uh, you showed it to me. It was pretty funny. But no, I, I swear, I, that was not a copy. That The first part... Yeah, yeah. About the mic coming in part, that was a copy. Cause I thought it was really funny, but that's it. It was good. Oh crap! I closed out the meat tab. I think. Okay, I'm still you're, recording. You're still here. Oh, okay, cool. Uh. All right, let me. 
Hold on. Find this real quick. Oh. All right. Tell me if this is anything iffy. Cause I don't think it is, but you may. Can you can you see it? Uh yeah. All right. You can just shout if you don't if you don't hear it. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. You're good. I can hear Today, you. we're taking a bath. It is currently... 2 a.m. exactly. Uh, I think it's October the 9th, 10th. The relatively good show, I would say. Um, um... Anyway, I scrolled through some tidbits. I'll shut that off. Also, we're going to actually do our podcast for the remaining, like, 20 minutes here. But, yeah, yeah what do you think? Um, since just, just, like, the whole aspect of the video, it's a little iffy in my opinion, but I don't, I don't really know if you should or shouldn't post it. You, I mean, you never know who's really watching your videos. So, just to be... I think just to be safe, maybe we, maybe we shouldn't post it for now. Yeah, and also, I mean, I think that my whole class sees it. I did, I did send my entire thing. Uh, I did send my link to my class. That's why I have why we have seventy subs. So I do have to make my seventy subscribers special, which I'm trying to make it a big one because seventy is pretty big. Oh, and that dude. That guy, you, you know that bladed, the, the bladed Joker guy who did that podcast that copied us because he's a fan. Mm. Oh come on! Remember the the buck teeth, Preston? Yeah. Yeah, he's a G. He's back and uploading. He wasn't uploading for like many, many months, four or five months, and now he's back. He just started like two, two weeks nice. ago. So I'm gonna try to uh, um, comment on one of his videos or post in his discussion tab or something. Uh, that for him to be a guest on our podcast, because that would be really cool. That would be cool. Even though we don't really know the guy, I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun. But, I mean, what, what do I know? What do I know? Um, what do you know? But, whew, I, can't wait to go to, I can't wait to go to Old Orchard, because I think my parents want me to get lunch there, because I haven't eaten since yesterday. And I believe in Old Orchard there is a California pizza kitchen, and I swear, my California pizza kitchen order is golden. It's only two items. It's the chicken barbecue pizza, the chicken barbecue, some sauce and some chives or something. Uh, some green stuff, which I actually like. And their baked potato soup. Or not baked, baked, the hell am I saying? Just their potato soup. Potato soup in the barbecue chicken pizza goes so good. Nice. I swear. Um, I did try Subway's new soup. Uh, I mean, I've now tried all the Subway soups. I tried the chicken noodle in like March, and I did try the broccoli and cheddar the other day, and it's really good, like really, really good. And my mom said she loves it too, so, um, yeah. Interesting. I forgot they were doing soups, frankly. Yeah, I mean, and their soups are really good, and they're not too expensive. I mean, they're different, and I could eat it for a whole meal. They're filling. They're only $2.50, um, but my Subway sandwich order is pretty expensive. I think it's in the upwards of $8 or maybe in the nines. Um, I do get a uh, smash avocado and bacon, which is an extra two dollars, one for each. So minus all the other stuff, it would be like six, seven dollars, or minus the yeah, that stuff. So I guess, I mean, I guess that's just how it is. But Dang. what are you gonna do? Um, but how has your book been going? The one you're reading? My book, Firestarter. Yes, yeah, going. It's been going good. I I don't know if I'm not motivated to read or the story's not interesting me. I mean, the story is interesting me. I guess I just haven't been too motivated to read right now. Yeah. It's it's a good story. I love it. Um, just kind of waiting for something to happen. 
because nothing, I mean, a blackout just happened at wherever they are. So, I'm just waiting for something to really happen. Yeah. I'm not that saying nope, nothing already has, but. Yeah, like a cinematic, like, kind of boom. Yeah. Yeah. On the topic of that, though, I do, I did get some new books over the weekend um, that I am really excited on reading. One is a sequel to a book that I read not too long ago, and one was one that my friend was reading, but I thought it looked good. So the first one is Red Mars. Uh, I'm pretty sure... It's about people that are trying to colonize Mars. Oh, that's cool. Mr. Risco was beside that. Watch that. I guess you're right. Yeah, so I'm excited to read this. It's pretty small, though, like the size of my hand. But small text, but if it's good, I think, I think it'll be exciting to read. Nice, cool. And the second book is the sequel to... Um, Annihilation. It's called Authority. What? There's a sequel? Yeah. What? Oh. Oh, shit. Well, I don't think there's a movie for it, but there's a sequel to the book. It's still in the same universe, so I'm very excited to read it. Authority book. Uh, Yeah. Oh, it's not too long. It's not even 360 pages. Uh, yeah, it's not too long. Huh. Oh, there's three books? Yeah. In the series. Authority, possible movie. Yeah, the third one is called Acceptance. Annihilation, Authority, Acceptance. Triple A. Okay. Batteries. Sounds cool. Sounds fun. Yeah, I'm excited to read both of them after I finish Firestarter. Yeah. Um, I think that a good way to wrap up, um, because I only have another about uh, 20 to t- uh, 25 minutes on the podcast left. Uh, or not, no, 15 to 20 minutes left, probably about 15. We could finish your story from last episode. Which story? Remember that, uh, the thing you were writing with the five chapters and you said you had crafted it around Stephen King? Remember we read it with- Last time? Oh yeah, did we not finish that? No, we were in the middle of chapter four, I believe. Oh, cool. We can finish that then. Yeah, let's go for it. It helps. It helps to level four. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Guys, I probably cool. just should have done this. That'll be great. Be yeah, I'll present my screen. We. Can Oh crap, I think you're frozen. Yeah, my my computer is bad today. Okay. Let's see where. Maybe maybe go up a little. I'm not sure if I did finish even three. Okay, no, I I, I read three. Uh well. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do four. I don't have time to check. We can, yeah, we can start with four. Cool. Four, the kitchen knives. When Jonathan woke up, he waddled downstairs to have his usual breakfast of a plain bagel with cream cheese on half and chunky peanut butter on the other side. He found his father sitting straight up on the sofa. Bill's face was white as a sheep. With a cup of tea nested in his ice-cold, pale hands with bags under his eyes, staring to the black screen of the TV. Hey, Dad, are you feeling all right? Jonathan said, looking worried as he walked over to the sofa and tried to make his entranced father comfortable. Bill did not look away from the TV when he mumbled with a slight bit of annoyance in his voice. I'm feeling fine. Jonathan looked, Jonathan, around the room to see what his dad was looking at. Get away from me, you little prick, Bill thought in his contaminated head. What are you looking at, Dad? Jonathan said, now feeling a bit better that his father had said he was feeling fine. The man, he replied, still staring into the blank TV screen. The man of my dreams, the man in the movie, the man. He paused. Who killed me? Who wants to hurt me? Another pause from Bill. And kill us. Little Johnny gasped. He had never seen his dad in this state, but yet he seemed unalarmed by the news. By this news. 
Jonathan got his father to stop staring to the screen by turning the television on. Later, he started to make him some breakfast. Hey, Dad, what's for breakfast? He asked, feeling very hungry because it was already a quarter past eight. What do you want? Bill said, feeling better. Eggs and bacon, please, he said. Eggs and bacon coming right up, Bill said in a peculiarly good mood. He seemed to be too happy. Bill cracked the eggs, scrambled them, cooked the bacon, and when he was reaching for the salt and pepper, all of the knives floated off the magnetic rack and hovered above Bill. Oh, shit, Jonathan shouted as he noticed the knives. John Jonathan Henry Davis! Language, Bill exclaimed. Well, you say it, Jonathan said in a sassy voice. And look out! With no notice, the knives fell and sliced Bill in eight or so different places. His forearm, leg, and stomach. Shit, shit, shit! Jonathan, go over to the Garcias? Oh, oh, I get it. Like, yeah, the last name. Okay. Jonathan, go over to the Garcias' house and call 911. Bill shouted with blood oozing out of his cuts. Jonathan darted over to their neighbor's house and rang and rang their door doorbell. No answer. He pounded on the door with all of his might, yelling, Open up, please! My daddy's hurt! Please open the door, please! He heard a faint voice from the from the inside. Shh! Can a man have some peace and quiet for one goddamn minute? He opened the door with a quick movement. What do you want, kid? Mr. Garcia said, clearly annoyed. My daddy's hurt and needs you to call 911. Mr. Garcia calmly picked up his phone and dials 911. Moments later, the ambulance was there. With haste, the paramedics rushed Bill to the nearest hospital. Re I, that's my favorite so far, I think. Really, really good. Chapter Wait. yeah, chapter 5, The Interrogation. After Bill was escorted to the hospital, Jonathan wrote in Mr. Garcia's old 1984 Pontiac Firebird, still in great condition. Mr. Garcia had a miraculous love for cars. He had entered his Firebird in the car show in 96. Oh, how he loved this car. If there was even a scratch, he would go nuts. Bill survived. After a day or two, Bill was able to make out words and start talking again. Little Jonathan was trembling in fear in the corner of his mom's hospital room. Mom, are you okay? He asked, looking at his cuts and gashes from the terrible incident. Oh, uh, shoot. Hold on. Sorry. I, I told you, I, I remember I told you that I changed the character like halfway through writing this. Yeah, that is something that I forgot the chance. Yeah. I was like, ooh, dad transgender. <laughs> okay, uh, where was I? One, one second. Yep, sure. Uh, wait, give me literally one second. Okay. Control C. No, not control T. Uh, control F. That's what it is. Mom. I'm sorry. I just literally forgot about this. Yeah, yeah. Dad's breast. How can we put the chats? Alright. Alright, cool. Wait. Okay. Okay. Dad, are you okay? He asked, looking at his cuts and gashes from the terrible incident. I'm fine, Sweepy Pie, he said with the... Oh, okay. I'm, I, I'm fine, Sweepy Pie, he said with a slight Jonathan smile. Oh, Daddy, Jonathan said. He walked over to the side of the bed and hugged him. He never wanted to let go of his precious Daddy. Oh, how he loved him. Oh, how he just wanted this, uh, this to end. He started to sob, but just a little bit. Jonathan, he heard. He couldn't stop hearing his name. Little Jonathan stayed with his dad the entire night so he could protect his father. He fell asleep around nine or so. He laid his head on his dad's chest. He put a hand on his head and fell asleep, too. The next morning, Bill woke up with Jonathan laying on his chest just where he left him. A few moments after the nurse had given Bill his breakfast, three men walked into the room. You are? The man in front checked his clipboard that was nested between a few different medical records and tests on the foot of his hospital bed. Mr. Davis, is that right? He said in a fashion that made Bill feel something. Who are you? Bill asked, a bit skeptical about, a bit skeptical about the three men so far. Agent Jackson. Yes, sir, Jackson, the man in the front said, pointing to the man at his left. Agent Miller's to his right, and I'm Agent Wilson, he said, signaling toward himself. We're from the government. You are such an interesting case, the man said. You say your kitchen knives were picked up and fell down on you? Yes. What part of the government, Bill said? Confidential. Well, then why are you here? To, he paused, ask you some questions about what happened. And that is exactly what they did. So, when did all of these, he paused again. Things are occurring, mister. Wilson looked at the clipboard, sitting in a basket at the foot of his hospital bed again. Try and remember what Bill's name was. Please, call me Bill, he interrupted.
And that's what I have so far. Very good story. I'm serious. And it's really good when you can envision it. It doesn't matter what it is, but there's some times I'm reading in school and I'm just like, why should I care? I can't see it. But I mean, I'm probably wrong. Does Bill have black hair? Did you ever think about that? I know, I guess people, I wasn't, I guess maybe I thought of it as in more of a, maybe it's, maybe I'm biased or I just never thought of it. Maybe it's because I have brown hair, but I sort of imagine having him brown hair, but it didn't really, you know, how pe people say that um, different readers envision their stories in different ways. So. And that's also good because... And again, no offense, I could never imagine Bill having brown hair. Johnny, black, or er, brown, and then Bill, black. And if, that's, and if that's what I imagine, I can't get it out of my mind and, like, change, then that's really good, and that proves a good writer. So I would continue your story, maybe, like, I don't know, maybe send it into an editor if you can find something like that. I think that would be cool. But, um, yeah, good job, man. Really, really good story. I got this, I got this nice blister. Uh, on my wrist from my watch um, I was wearing it and I think it just I don't know what happened to it I guess it, it just rubbed against my wrist too much and now I have a blister there we popped it and put some antibiotic or whatever you want to call it on there so we gotta just leave it like that now good okay well um, my mom said I have to be ready by 150 and I have to go pick up Poops in the backyard. So it's 1:35. So I'm gonna go now. But I thought that was a very good episode. We got a lot of chatting in. I thought I forgot something that I wanted to say, probably, because um, I just what I did last time and I said it this time. So we will see you all for episode 34. So geez, we are 34, 35, 36, five more episodes until three quarters of a year. Five more, guys. So. A little over a month until we got to the quarters of the year. I think we should do a special spooky suit, spooky episode, you know? You're right. Hold on. Uh, come on. Load in, buddy. What's today? The 10th? So the 17th will be episode... Oh, my God. Dude. Oh, I think we have an episode coming out on Halloween. No way. The 17th... All in on a Sunday. That's impossible. Oh, damn it. I was reading off today. So stupid. Okay, hold on. So we could we could air it on Halloween just because why not? When's when's Friday? Well, I think we should make like a separate video, not a podcast for Halloween, like a like a I don't know something like that. We could. So the closest episode of Halloween. So th th this is coming out on the fifteenth, episode thirty three. Yeah, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. Episode thirty five. Which is going to be on the 29th. So episode 35 will be your spooky season. Uh, our Halloween, I don't like spooky season, our Halloween episode. But um, until then, stay safe, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, turn on post notifications. Jackson, any closing thoughts before I sign out? Nope. Me neither, guys. Thank you for watching the video. And we will see you all back in a week for episode 34. Thanks for watching. Peace. Bye. Happy Bye. Indigenous Peoples Day. See you Monday. All right, guys. Happy Columbus Day. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm, I'm, happy Indigenous People Day. Tomorrow, Monday, October the 11th. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys very, very soon.